Hey y'all, I'm back. I had to do my thumbnail because Hey, it's me. Hey, hey, hey. How are y'all doing today? I know I look a little bit different because I have on my prescriptions, baby, because my contact lenses was not agreeing with me today. So I had did a shorts video a few minutes ago, letting y'all know that I had just came back from the thrift store and I got some cute stuff. Y'all, I've been thrifting my butt off. I am trying to get this YouTube channel up and running. You hear me? Because there will be days that I do not have time to YouTube and vlog. So I'm trying to get as much content in or out as I possibly can because I'm having so much fun with this whole YouTube thing. And I hope you guys are enjoying it just as much as I am. Hunty, I got a new microphone. YouTube checks ain't started coming in yet, but honey, I'm using my own queen, okay? So, you know, with this YouTube, you got to keep it sassy because the requirements that YouTube have going on now, you cannot be basic. You got to come bring it on. So I'm constantly thinking about ways to make my channel more fun, more interesting, you know, just a little different from the basic YouTube thrifting channels because there is a lot of YouTube thrifters out here and yeah so i have been getting so much feedback positive feedback about my channel i just want to say thank you to everybody who is giving me feedback one person told me that i need to include solo in my videos more come on solo come on come on baby come on come on come on look so solo is in my video i took y'all's advice and i got him in my video and he gonna tear up so if the video quality get crazy it's because y'all asked for solo and the solo is in here okay so i'm trying to think of more interactive um innovative ways and more artistic ways to come to youtube um because i gotta step my game up but i also want to be um transparent and real and not fake i look at so many youtube videos every day and i see people you know they live a the perfect life i mean it's perfect i mean i see that they are living the perfect life what do you have see y'all uh, five minutes and look look what he didn't did look what he did that's why i don't have them in my videos i put them in the cage but anyway i went on, i'm sorry y'all i'm trying to put this microphone stuff back in the box but i went on I went to a thrift store today and I was with my boo thing and now everywhere we go I'm like stop at the thrift he said oh my goodness how much thrifting are you gonna do this is the most thrifting I ever been to in my whole life so that was funny but anyway I did go to the thrift store today this morning y'all see my thrift bag to say hello sunshine you can see the tags hanging out and I did grab a few things um and yesterday we went to Maryland because I'm in Virginia and we went to Maryland yesterday and y'all I'm from Maryland. I was born and raised in the DMV, but mainly I was raised in Prince George's County, Maryland. And y'all I yesterday he had to go, they had to go do some stuff and take care of some business. And every time we went somewhere, I was like, stop right there at the thrift store. He was like, oh, my goodness. So he won't go in. He literally waits outside in the car for me. And, yeah, we went. Um, he dropped me off in there. And I had, like, what they call What my daughters use that term all the time. It's called um, nostalgia. It was, I had a nostalgia moment. Nostalgic. I guess that's the word. Moment. Um, and, oh, my God. I was, I got back to the car. I was like, oh my God, boo. I was like, I miss, I miss thrifting in, in Maryland. They have the best stuff. 
And there's one thrift store that's across from Andrews Air Force Base. And um, I think that's considered as Temple Hills, Maryland or Old Temple Hills, Maryland. But they have this thrift store. It's called Be Thrifty. And I went there yesterday and I got so many cute pieces. I have to save that for another video. But I was thinking I should do start doing like item of the week. Like something that I thrift that is the most unique piece of the week. Like, so like for instance, yesterday I thrifted this Toy Birch tote bag, authentic Toy Birch tote bag. And it was, it was like $17. And when I got home, I cleaned it up and let me show y'all. Give me one. Second. So this is the bag right here. I thrifted yesterday. It's a Toy Birch um tote bag i think it's called the alexa tote bag and it was y'all look at this bag how beautiful is this it was 17 dollars, 17 bucks and so i was so excited to get this yes so what i was thinking about doing was potentially doing like an item of the week um something that is so unbelievably um thrifted so maybe i should call it like unbelievably thrifted yeah that's what i'm gonna do unbelievably thrifted that's gonna be a segment on my channel every week it's gonna be an item that i thrifted that's gonna be called unbelievably thrifted and i'm gonna leave the price tags on it so that y'all won't think that i'm lying or anything so anyway i wanted to quickly get to what i got today <laughs> And so everybody knows who know me knows that I have a strong love and passion for leopard print. And so I thrifted and I have so many purses, y'all. Y'all would not believe how many bags I have. That's a whole nother video. And all of them are designer. And you can see some of them if you look over there. Let me turn my camera a little bit. But I have like two cabinets with just purses luxury purses but right now I, I very rarely thrift non-name purses because I generally don't end up carrying them but because this one was leopard leopard print I was like this is cute this is cute and I'm gonna carry this because I have a leopard coat and actually I'm gonna do a leopard segment because I have so much animal print I feel like I can do a whole series on animal print. So that's a whole nother video. I'm telling you, I got some content for y'all. I got some content coming for you. But anyway, I thrifted this beautiful looks it looks vintage, but I don't think it is. It's um it's a leopard print purse. And I got it from the savers. Like I said this morning, I went me and Bay, and this was six dollars, oh, nine dollars and ninety-nine cents. And I just love it. It's like a felt handle. It's no leather or anything. And it has a magnetic strap, I mean, button in the inside. No name. It's just basic. But I just feel like I could use it um, on the weekdays to carry my lunch, um, to carry my lunch in or curry just because I usually carry big bags for work. So, yeah. But I was like, that is cute. Even with what I have on today, this my dress I have on today, I can literally carry this with that. That is cute. Yes. That is one thing that I that I got. And then I saw this beautiful, look at this. This beautiful jacket. This like little little jacket. And I tried it on in the store. It is so cute. Look at this, y'all. And this is vintage made by Papel. Papel, Papel. And um, I was like, ooh, this is fly. I like this. And then it was, I love it that it matched um, my earrings and it matched my lipstick. This is so, I cannot wait to style this. That is so cute. So cute, y'all. I'm telling y'all, when I say solo, this is why I cannot have solo out. He gets in everything. Solo, why are you getting everything, Papa? Huh? Anyway, 
Yeah, so this is the jacket. Isn't that cute? <laughs> Y'all, they don't know what the price. Now, they had that little purse. That little purse was $9.99. But then, this was only, look, $4.49. Come on now. Make it make sense. That is so cute. Right? And look at the little buttons, like the button hooks. I love that. Yes, I cannot wait to style that. Next, I found this shirt, which I thought was so cute. Look at this, y'all. Isn't that cute? Oh, my goodness. That is so cute. Look at the whales on it. And I don't know. the. It feels very like cashmere, but when I looked at the tag, it was like polyester and wool. But I just love this. This is what I'm talking about. This is stuff you just can't just go to the store and get. This is quality, and it feels so good. You like this solo? You like that? That is so cute. And this cost, it was a little expensive, but it was, I think I got it 20% off. It was $13.99. And, um, but it's just, it's worth it. It doesn't have any name in the inside, but it does have a, um, a tag that says made in China and it says it's 56% cotton and 43% wool which but it feels amazing I mean this is amazing I cannot wait to wear this it looks expensive all right the next this is the last um clothing piece that I got is this dress oh my god look at this y'all look at this dress Look at the texture on this dress off the shoulder. This is so pretty. And it, this is, I believe this either goes around the neck. Yeah, I think this ties around the neck. And yeah, so look at that. That is so beautiful. You like that solo? That is so beautiful. And I cannot wait to wear that this spring. I actually probably can wear it now out to dinner. I might wear this on Valentine's Day. I might put this in the dry cleaners tomorrow and then wear this on Valentine's Day because, and this was $11.99, and it's made by a company called Dance and Marvel. Dance and Marvel. And it's a large, and this is just absolutely beautiful. I cannot wait to wear this. But check this out. Not only did I get this, but, girl, don't play with it. <laughs> Look at these shoes. Look at these shoes. Hold on. Let me take a picture. So I had to do that because YouTube, y'all got to have thumbnails. But look at these shoes. How freaking adorable are these? They are made by Gunmetal. Gunmetal, they are my size. They are suede, real suede. Look at that. Look at that. That is so cute. Oh my God, these are so cute. This is what I look for when I go thrifting. Uniqueness. This is artistic. Nobody has these. I've never seen anybody with these. These are so cute. And I cannot wait to wear these on Valentine's Day. And I'm going to show you guys my outfit when I do wear it. But look at this. I'm trying to tell you, I can teach you how to thrift, but you got to want to learn. And you know what you got to do? You got to sign up. You got to subscribe. You got to hit that notification because, baby, at this broke girl fashion university, you're going to click your heels together. Now, let me do it like this. You're going to click your heels together, baby, and you're going to be out here looking like Cinderella without the stepmama. Okay? Okay? Okay, I got two more things and then we're going to be, well, actually three. So y'all, these, whoever, whoever donated these saw me coming. Now y'all might not think these are cute, but they are super cute. Look at these suede, two-tone, color blocked heels, little heels, and they look so cute on my feet. 
I'll show you guys what they look like. But um, they're made by a company called Nanette Lepore. N Nanette Lepore. And they were only $5.49. And I'm going to say, let me see where they're made. They're made in Italy. Period. I should have known because I got very expensive taste. Made in Italy. And honey, whoever the rich chick was who dropped these off, she had style and grace. Those are beautiful. Not only did she drop those off, but and I'm gonna I'm gonna research this brand because baby, I love I love this style. So and that's another thing, a key tip, thrift store tip. When you go in the thrift store, you're able to find designers and and um, brands that you didn't know existed. And if you really love their pieces, I mean, you can go on, you can find the name inside the article, and then you can google it and that's the good thing about the internet now you can google it and baby you you might found your designer of the year like this might be your your niche like this this designer might be what you've been looking for what's going to bring you out your shell and when i try these on they may not look that great on camera but baby when i try them on and i'm going to try these all on for you and post the videos and with them on my feet just so you can see, I don't have a pedicure right now, so I'm not that eager to try things like shoes on. But like I said, I'm coming to you guys transparent, raw. It is what it is. Ain't no perfection over here. This is people with flaws. This is Mika with flaws, the shady thrifter. Yeah, here at the Broke Girl Fashion University, we come as ourselves, everyday women. Not perfection. Not Botox. And I don't have nothing against all that, but... I'm a one woman show. I come on here to just show you guys what it is. Look at these. How beautiful these. And they have the same heel as the ones before. And you can see these, I don't even know if these ever been worn. They look like they may have been. I'm going to try to look these up before I post this video so I can see around what the price of these are. But like I said, they are made in Italy. I like how they got the little lines at the bottom like Chanel. Hold up. Hold up. But anyway, yeah, those are nice. And then I also got the last pair are, so I got, so oh, these are a different um, brand. I thought they were the same. So these are made by Chroma Vintage. And it was these shoes. I really like these. I know they are a little chiseled in the front, but when you put them on, you can barely see them. And I just felt like for the price, $5.49, I mean, I'm not that picky. But when I put them on, I mean, they're so, art. I love artistic. Look at these. Look at the texture. I just felt like these are, these are fly, man. I, I just, I love them. And these are the Clara. And these are made in China fabric upper man-made material i just love this anything this is so beautiful look at that yep so that is it for today's haul this was a quick thrift haul um again i would like to say thank you guys for joining me today i just wanted to come on here and talk some good stuff for you guys hopefully everyone is having a wonderful day Again, I'm the Shady Thrifter on TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube. And if you like my content and want to see more thrifted finds such as these from a normal, regular, everyday person without the glitz and glam of YouTube fakeness, then subscribe to my channel. You won't be disappointed. Bye!